Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're learning about positions. Now this is a concept which often confuses people, so I'm going to try and simplify it for you, and hopefully by the end of this video you'll understand a bit more and it'll be a bit clearer. If you'd like a free summary of everything in this lesson, then there's a link beneath the video where you can go and find a page on my website which has all of that. Also, if you want to delve deeper into positions, I have a step-by-step -step premium course, so I'll put a link to that as well. So most instruments are built to play in any and all keys that you like. All of the notes are there, and it's just a case of finding them and using them to play in whatever key you'd like. But diatonic harmonicas like this, probably like the one you've got, are built to play in one specific key and that's a major key. So this is a C harmonica, so it plays in C major. So what do we do if we want to play in other keys? So I've got my C harp, oh I can play in C okay, but what about when I want to play in G, A, F, D? Well we can buy loads of different harmonicas to play in different keys. And that solves the problem up to a point, but if we want to play anything other than major scales, let's say we want to play minor scales, or even just blues music, where we're not playing minor scales, but we want to hit some notes that aren't completely major, we want to kind of make things bluesy, we want to bend some of the notes, we want to turn some of those notes from major into a little bit darker. Well, when that happens, this is where positions come in and where positions are useful. So, it's actually possible to play in more than one key on this instrument. By using our knowledge of music theory and by bending some notes and sometimes overblowing notes to kind of change the amount of notes we have on the instrument. In theory, you could play in any key on this harmonica, but it gets really difficult when you move far away from the home key. So the most common positions are first, second and third position. You might have heard those names used and most people just use a, any one harmonica to play in those three keys. They're the most common that you'll hear used. So when you hear people talk about positions, they're talking about the relationship between the intended key of the harmonica, so the key of the harmonica you're on, and then the key that the song is in. So key you're on and key you're in. And that relationship, depending on how that, that relationship works, you'll be in a specific position. So, you might be thinking, well, you've just told me that these harmonicas are meant to play in one key, and now you're saying it's possible to play in multiple keys on them. How does that work? So I think the easiest way to explain this is by giving you some examples. So we're going to look at first, second, and third position. These are probably the three positions you're likely to learn to play, and you've probably heard harmonica played in these. So first position is actually so simple it doesn't need any calculation, it doesn't need any working out. So first position is actually playing in the home key of the instrument itself. So this is a C harmonica, I would be playing in the key of C. So the tune I played before, When the Saints, I was playing that in first position. I have a lesson on that. If you want to go and learn that, there's a link in the description. So, first position is used, as you might expect, for major scale sounding things, because this instrument is built for playing major scales. So a major scale uh, is in the middle of the harmonica. So we've got four blow, four draw, five blow, five draw, six blow, six draw, seven draw, seven blow. And that scale will build lots of nice melodies, pop tunes, nursery rhymes, folk songs easily in first position. But bear in mind that the position technically 
does not determine the scales you use. So in theory, you could play any scale in first position. It would just be more difficult than playing the major scale. What the position does determine is your kind of home base. So the tonal center of the music you're playing. So on a C diatonic harmonica, we'd be looking for the C note because we're in first position. So the C note we'll find on one blow, four blow, seven blow, and 10 blow. That's the note you'll return to and which will feel like home in first position. So let's now talk about second position. This is also called cross harp and you've probably heard of one or both of those terms if you've looked at playing blues. So second position is the default position to use when playing blues. And on a C diatonic harmonica, we'd actually be playing in the key of G. So our home bass note would be our two draw, also our three blow, or our six blow, or our nine blow. And if we want to play blues, we can use a blues scale to uh, build some licks in this position. So our notes for that are two draw, three draw, half step bend, four blow, four draw bend, four draw, five draw, six blow. So you can hear that it immediately that sounded bluesier. And it's because of the relationship between the key of G and the key of C. So C major is quite close to G, but when you try and play uh, in the key of G on your C harp, it changes some of the notes and it makes them bluesier. So it would be a bit harder to play major scale sounding things, but it's actually easier to play bluesier things. So the relationship between the key of C and the key of G is an interval of a fifth. So what that means is if you count up the C scale, you get C, D, E, F, G. So the fifth note of the C scale gives us our second position key. So C harp, key of G. And with any scale, you could count up and work out the position from that key. We're going to talk more about that relationship a bit later in this video, but for now you can just think C harmonica, second position is key of G. Again, technically it doesn't determine the scales you play, but it does make that tension between major and minor that blues is so good at, it makes that more accessible, it makes that easier, which is why second position is our most common position for playing blues. Okay, so the last position I want to mention is third position. And this is most often used for playing in minor keys, minor scales. So this is the way we get around that problem of, I've got a major tuned harmonica, how do I play in a minor key? So on a C harmonica, third position would be the key of D. So our home note would be one draw, four draw, or eight draw. And that's because C major and D minor are closely related. So we can kind of cheat, and if we bend uh, a few of the notes, then we can get really, really beautiful things in a minor key. So the natural minor scale in third position would sound like this. You can immediately hear that it's not sounding bright and happy anymore, it's got that darker sound. So this is useful for things like summertime. So the minor scale, which is great for building melodies like that, uh, is one draw, two blow, two draw full step bend, two draw, three draw full step bend, three draw half step bend, four blow, four draw. And if you want to learn summertime, I'll put a link to a free lesson on that in the description beneath the video as well. 
So the way that we work out third position is actually slightly easier than second position. So it's just a tone up from the home key, or we could think of it as the second degree of the scale. So C, D, easy. We just count up to that, that second note on the scale. Or as I said, it's one draw, four draw, eight draw that's telling you the kind of home bass. Again, it doesn't technically determine the scales or melodies you're going to play, but you'll find that it's really useful for playing in minor keys. And for that reason, third position is the default position for playing in minor keys. It's really expressive and really useful for that. So I just want to mention a couple of things before we finish about working out different positions. So, so far, I've just talked about my C harmonica. So what about working out positions for all different keys of harmonica? Well, I've included a full chart in the free summary, which you can get via the link beneath this video. That tells you all 12 positions for all different 12 keys of harmonica, but it's most likely you'll just use the first three. But I just want to mention a bit more about the theory, if you like, uh, and working that out. So the circle of fifths is a diagram which can really help with this. So if we have a look at the circle of fifths, the way this works is that if you go around clockwise, each jump from one key to the next is an interval of a fifth. And we can use this diagram, although it wasn't built for this, to help us work out positions. So I mentioned that from C to G is a fifth. So that's from first position to second position. I didn't mention though that second position to third position is another jump of a fifth. I told you that from C to D is just a tone up. But if we go from second to third, that's another jump of a fifth. And from third to fourth, and from fourth to fifth, and from fifth to sixth, the whole way round this diagram is another interval of a fifth, but for us, another position jump. So we can go C is first, G is second, D is third, A is fourth, E is fifth, and so on. And this can help us, not just to work out the positions, but to understand which positions are going to be easiest to play. Because actually, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, are the most difficult because they're the furthest away from our home key. They're going to share the fewest notes with our home key. So actually when we get right back round near to C, so we've got B flat and F, 11th and 12th position, they are actually going to be a bit easier to play because they're nearer to those home keys. So after exploring first, second and third, you might want to explore 12th. We can also use this diagram to work out the positions on any key of harmonica. So I just told you about uh, the key of C harmonica, but let's say you've got a, an F harmonica. You just start with F, so second position would be C, third position would be G, fourth position would be D. You could do this with anything. You could start uh, at the F sharp or G flat and count round the same. It's exactly the same way of doing it. And if you wanted to go from the key of song to the key of harmonica, you just count the other way round, so it can be used both ways. Again, I'll include a link to a circle of fifths in the description so that hopefully you can use that as a tool to further your learning. So that's the basics of positions, and we've looked at first, second and third. I am going to do some more videos on positions, so keep an eye out for the rest of this series when we're going to uh, explain some other concepts related to positions. Make sure you get that free summary. There's a link in the description and also check out my full step-by-step -step premium course all about positions if you want to delve deeper into this. Let me know how you're getting on in the comments if you have any more questions or things that need clearing up and I hope to see you again for another lesson soon. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>